Hello, my name is Enijan, and I'll be talking about my creative project. Um, for my project, uh, I decided to go based off of section 4.6 in the textbook, which is about art, war, and healing. As you can see here, I'm drawing a little girl. Now, my reference photo is supposed to be the 2,000 yards there by Tom Leah, and I know although the little girl doesn't have the same blank, unfocused stare or expression of the man in the original image, I wanted to change it up a little bit. The sad stare of the girl, as opposed to the blank stare of the man, is to show the two different sides of war. There's the side with the man, who's been out in combat and has experienced a lot more, seen a lot more. Then there's the little girl who's clueless, hasn't seen as much, and she doesn't know why there's fighting or why th things are the way they are. Both sides are equally sad and disheartening. What I'm trying to accomplish with this project is to try and have my viewers feel the same emotion as the little girl in my drawing. I want them to realize the kind of effect war has on people, and in this case, children. In order to achieve what I'm trying to accomplish, I positioned the little girl in the bottom left corner of the image in front of a war zone. Now, I'm not the best with backgrounds, but I tried to be as detailed as I could with it. And then I added some flames on buildings, some destruction, and even a silhouette of a person in the background to try and get that effect of war. This project did have its challenges though. For example, like the little girl's hair was a little difficult, but I managed to get through that. And like the background, I'm not really that good with drawing backgrounds, but I would say I did a pretty okay job with this. The smoke in the air and everything, it was... It wasn't too hard, but it was a challenge. It was fun. And now that I'm done explaining the process of the drawing itself, I'll talk a bit about the filming of this video. My mom is actually the videographer here, and I would say she did a pretty superb job at capturing my artwork. We actually filmed in a cafe, which was pretty fun, and then I came home to add my voiceover. To conclude this video, I would just like to say that this was a very fun project indeed, and I really, really enjoyed this class. Thank you, Ms. Hamlin.